Hi folks and welcome back. Now I'm going to show you what I am putting in my um, Christmas Eve boxes and also some ideas for little stocking stuffers as well. Now I don't know if there's going to be much order to this because I've got a big bag of stuff down here that I've been collecting over time um, but I have been it has been requested so many times with, for ideas and things to put in to Christmas Eve boxes so I'm just going to go for it and if there's anything that's suitable for your ages that you're having to buy for then um, I really hope this helps now I've been asked for a lot for ages sort of um, tweens and teens now I um, as you know I've only got daughters so I don't really have to buy that much for boys so that's not kind of my forte so to speak but obviously with the new grandson coming up then I'll be looking more at the boy stuff but a lot of the things I'm going to show you can be for boys you can just adapt them slightly so um, I've separated the bits into sections I just hope my daughters don't watch this um, the Christmas Eve boxes are up the loft and they are coming down on Sunday. So we're putting our tree up on Sunday. It's early for me, normally um, only just two weeks before Christmas. So I will get my husband to bring the Christmas Eve boxes down. And when I give them to you, to the kids, I will show you them packed up. But I thought, let's show you this video now so you can go out and buy some stuff. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Now these can be a mix and match for Christmas Eve or stocking fillers. So anything that you think would be suitable, I'm just going to jump straight in and show you. So we've got these things here. Now these came from Poundland, but I do think that some of the other shops sell them slightly different, but um, similar sort of thing. So you've got your little bath bombs. You've got the little um, scented bubble bath in a little packet. Now they do different sorts of these in Poundland. There's the hand cream. Anything like sweets, um, novelty things, they're always good. We've got these little um, Christmas trees, your candy canes. You've got to watch the colourings in them. Um, but the way I look at it, it is Christmas. Just limit, you know, what they have. And if you know that your kids go a bit whappy on E numbers, you know, just be careful with them. So you've got stuff like that. Um, the little pouches that we made with the little reindeer food in, that's always good. And don't forget we put together these little chocolate um, packets. So you can do that for any, any kids of any age. So if you've got any allergies, you can, again, adjust the chocolates or the sweets that you put in them. Just put them in a little gift bag and they will do for either as well. Some um, tiny little nail files there. Again, that's any age girl that would like those or even boys if they like doing their nails. Um, another thing for the men, these were on offer in Asda, so you've got the smelly set, and these would be great for, you know when you get boys that are starting to think about their appearance a little bit more, these would be fab all the way up to adults, dads, granddads, you know, that sort of thing. So these are £6, but on three for two at Asda at the moment. Um, you've got your little um, tubs of sweets that are in Poundland, they'd be very, very good. Right, let's delve in. So in my Christmas Eve boxes, I always put some pyjamas. Okay, so they always go in the box. And I'm doing slippers this year as well. So because Chloe is having a baby, I've bought her some maternity pyjamas. Now, these are not Christmas ones because they were very hard to find maternity Christmas ones. So I haven't got those. So they've got long legs and long arms. Um, no order to this. Sorry, guys. I've um, got Phoebe some slippers to go with hers. And they were just 3 50 from asda and they've got the nice little um bottom you know so they don't slip and they're really soft and really cuddly i didn't want to get the boots because i thought it might make her feet a little bit too warm um right what else have we got now these mugs came from asda i did put these in a video these are going in the christmas eve boxes so they've all got one each uh, so we've got that one and this one I will warn them not to watch this video. But a lot of this has been collected over time. I'll just put it away and I normally lose it. That's normally my trick. And then buy it again, then find it. There's that one there. So I've got these for the three younger girls. And Chloe has this one there. Also, in Asda, they had these tiny little bears. They would be good for any, any age, any, any person, any age, as long as they can eat them. I thought they were quite cute. Um, for Chloe's boyfriend, I've got her this little elf mug. That came from Home Bargains. And also, don't forget, you've got your reindeer chocolate that you can put in on Christmas Eve as well. Or, your, you know, your hot chocolate. Just put some hot chocolate with some marshmallows. 
and that's good. Right, now we're starting with Phoebe because she's um, younger, it's going to be easier. So she's got her pyjamas, which haven't arrived yet because they're coming from Amazon. Um, she's easy to buy for. We've got this from Poundland, a little colouring set, dot to dot with the little pencils in. These are in Poundland as well, very snowy Christmas. I just thought that was so cute. There was two different types of books, but I loved it. I mean, that's going to be so cute, sitting reading that with her. Some colouring pencils. Santa Stop Here sign, that came from Asda. Now, DVDs in Poundland. We had a rummage through, and we picked that one up for Phoebe, the Christmas Carol. And this came from Asda. That was on the three for two, and that was a pound. So we would we got three for two pounds, if you see what I mean. So that's so far what we've got for Phoebe. So she's got her PJs and she's got her um, slippers. Right, next we've got Courtney. We got, um, where do we buy these pyjamas from? These have got little sausage dogs on. So where did we get those from? Let me have a look. So you've got your bottoms there. <coughs> and then you've got a nice little, oh, F and F, they came from Tesco. And then you've got your nice little sausage dog there on the front and it says cocktail sausage at the bottom so that's Courtney's Christmas Eve <coughs> pyjamas and then I was thinking about maybe giving Courtney that one so she'll get that to go with it and then I'll do a little hot chocolate to go in the top um, so I'll find somewhere to put them and now Courtney is um, 14 so she'll be 15 just after Christmas on the 28th of December so it's tricky to get kids that age um, but I'll show you the things I've got so far and hopefully it'll give you some ideas. Here's a little colouring book. This came, this is a Relax Me one. One of the older, for the older people, adults can use this as well. Um, that was really nice. That came from Poundland. We've got the Royal Family DVD. They've got loads of different DVDs in Poundland as well. Um, so have a rummage through. So I thought putting a DVD in would be quite good for the older kids as well. Some pencils. Um, she's nearly 15, but doesn't mean she can't colour so we've put those with that and I also got her one of these little lip balms as well there's a little face mask because they like to do those and then if we move on to her bunny, and I'll show you some stocking stuff for ideas as well um, these are her pyjamas they've got fake snow on there so they've got little Christmas trees on and they came from Tesco as well these were Ten pound or was a top ten pound? I'm not sure. So I think the top came separately, but we thought that went really nicely. It's got little reindeers on, a little pattern there. So there, Eben is. And then we bought her this from Poundland. This is um, a colouring book. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got loads of different um, <coughs> Christmassy ideas in there. So that's for Eb. Also got some pencils so she can colour those in. Picked her up um, a DVD and also, now these are the replay ones, so all I'm doing is just taking a little sticker off and popping that in. So for a pound you don't mind putting an extra little thing in, so that's in her shoes, I thought she would quite like that. Got a little chocolate mask as well, face mask and one of the lip balms. Now the, um, she'll obviously be getting a mug as well and um, my kids love J2O's. So you could even put a little J2O in. Um, if you've got little lads that like um, a drink, you can get some non-alcoholic beer, lager as well. So you could put them one of those in. And then for the older boys, you could probably just get them, you know, a really low um, alcohol. You know, obviously if they're, if they're a lot older, so you could put them a little bottle of beer in. Just wanted to show you this quickly. It's not kid, not kid related, but in B&M, they have these little beers for dogs. They've got that one for dogs and they've also got a wine a fake wine for cats called poor secco so that's in b&m at the moment so i picked one of those that we haven't got a cat so i didn't get the cat one but um i wanted to tell you about that as well um i've got another one of those right so that's in that bag now i'll just get my other bag and show you some more bits
socks are always a winner girls and boys whatever age um i can't remember where i bought these from um some rain uh, reindeer snowman socks so you can get those girls boys whatever this came from poundland it's a little um mirror with a little pouch and some tweezers my girls like doing the um face masks and things so we've got some of these little nose strips and some of the um, charcoal facial masks and these came from Poundland as well so I don't know how many you get in there but it feels quite heavy so they're good you know and sometimes I just like doing that sort of thing you know of an evening so I thought that'd make a thing Ebbs loves Mr Tom so I've got a pack of those and then also the cleansing water that was from Poundland um, you can get some of the um, what they call cotton wool pads as well they're quite good Things like this, little tiny novelty chocolates. You've got the Kinder Joy, Phoebe likes the Kinder Joy. But things like this, when you've got the, the little Christmassy theme, just pick bits like that up, um, you know, and just, just either package them up again, you know, in these little bags or just pop them in as they are. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Right, I'll just show you what else is in this bag. Just picking it out. Okay, these were from uh, Pound Stretcher. I would have done a video in Pound Stretcher, but um, my phone was like completely dead. So they're really nice. You've got a hand cream, um, or there's three different hand creams, but they've got the little snowy figures on. So I thought they'd be good. And they're any age again. Little chocolate Santa from, um, that came from Audi, I think. Some nice little festive socks. They're the younger, younger age, but they're really soft and cosy impulse spray again you can do the equivalent for boys maybe a link spray or you know look down the um sprays the cosmetic oils um especially in shops like b and I mean, you could go to asda or any supermarkets as well but um any of the the discount stores go down and they do a lot of gift sets this time of year so if you have to do a few you could maybe even split the gift sets up little nail varnishes there they make nice little presents to wrap up so look for little tiny things um for stocking stuffers you know not lots of little bits and pieces to open not tat i'm not saying to buy you know stuff that's going to be no good obviously make sure it is you know it is going to be used um but but all the things that i've bought will be used so um you know it's not a waste of money by any means there's a different pair of socks there a little candy cane and some little false eyelashes. Um, Courtney loves doing false eyelashes. Um, so there's loads and loads of different ideas of things that, you know, things you can put together. I've got them some different slippers. Um, these crackers came from um, well, Pound Stretcher. So you get nine in a pack. So if I can just open them, if they'll open, I'll show you. And I thought these would be great just to stuff one or two of these in. They would look really cute, but how cute are they? So you can just like pop one of those in the top or one of those in the um, in the Christmas Eve box. I just thought that was a real sweet idea. And there's little stickers inside. So if they get those on Christmas Eve, um, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, you know, in their stockings, then they can sit in the morning, pull those before they go down and open their presents or if they open them upstairs. Um, I just thought that was a really, really sweet idea. So anything like... Um, Socks, smellies, mugs, um, little toiletries, books. Also, if you're if you've got um, kids that like reading books, they're always um, you know a good thing to get because obviously all kids are different, so it's hard to to kind of say. And um, also in um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't think. Um, the B and M. They have these little sets. We put those in. You could always buy a pack of these and maybe split them up. So if you've got, say, a mug like that, you can put a little hot chocolate with it, um, pop that with it. So it's all about kind of mix and match um, and doing different bits. Now, I've got, I've done the hampers. Uh, oh, let me just show you these. Do you remember we made these chocolates a little while ago? They would be quite nice to pop one of those in as well. They're, all they are um, are Kinder chocolates just covered in um Christmassy paper I'll just put them in these little packs with a little ribbon on so they'd be nice to to pop one of those in as well I'll just show you my um, hot chocolate so we've got a basket here of hot chocolate loads and loads of different hot chocolates so they'd be good to stick those in and I've just put one of those little stickers on 
they've got the marshmallows in the top so they're great to put in christmas eve boxes but you can make those up yourself if you can't find them don't forget your little reindeer food reindeer dust um on the in the christmas eve box that's always good to do for the younger ones um, if you've got the older ones then i have a christmas eve crate that i'm doing for my daughter and her partner and um, she did have a christmas eve box last year but now she's obviously moved in with her partner we're going to sort of chop and change it a little bit this year so she's 21 um he's a little bit older so i'll put that together so i've got two more crates to make and i am going to show you the um the crates that i've made up and i'll just warn the people not to watch them um that might be on tomorrow that video it just depends i've got a really really busy day today um i've got to pop to the hospital because i've um um, I've got to have a 24-hour heart monitor put on this afternoon. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to have time later on. So if not, that will go on tomorrow. Um, again, we made the little bauble treats. Um, they could go in as well. You've got your little Christmas baubles. They could go in either pack. Um, you could put some satsumas in. Kids always like those. If your kids are okay with nuts, you could put a few little nuts in. Um, packs of raisins, that sort of thing. Um, so the list is endless so when you're out the key is look for little bits and pieces that are useful so not things that you know just going to get thrown away and not bothered with and um, christmas eve it's things to keep them occupied um little bits and bobs when they're excited like maybe a dvd something to color poundland have lots of things to make little sets um to put together for kids um, so just look at that down the craft aisle for the older kids um boys tend to be a bit trickier but you can again go on the same lines with the socks the smellies the chocolates um the books the mugs um slippers for the boys so you can do you can do it just alter what you put in depending on the age and knowing you know who you're buying for um so that's it guys i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope it's helped and I really, really, really want to say thank you so much to all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, to all of you. Um, sometimes when I'm doing these videos, it feels like I'm talking to myself. So it's so nice to read your lovely comments. And I do read them all. And if I don't reply, it's because somehow it's not come up on the notifications and um, I haven't seen it. So please mark my word that I do try as much as i can to read everything um it is getting harder because obviously my subscribers are going up and we're getting more comments um but i do want you to know that i appreciate them and i love reading what you put and it makes me feel like i'm not talking to myself so um just want to say thanks again guys and um i'll see you again soon take care for now